Hello there, my name is Fernando and I'm the developer advocate here at GitLab and today I'm going to go over one of the newly released features in GitLab 17.3. We've added support for Rust in dependency and license scanning to further help secure your applications developed in the Rust language. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this feature and learn more with a demo of how it works. SAS can also be enabled for Rust, which scans .rs files for vulnerabilities. These newly added analyzers integrate completely with GitLab's vulnerability workflows. In order to enable Rust SAS scanning, we must include a .gitlab directory and within it a sast-ruleset.toml. This file contains the location of the Rust SEMgrep ruleset. Then within the .gitlab-ci.yaml file, we must include the template for SAST, as well as the CI-CD component for dependency scanning of cargo packages. We can then scroll down in order to overwrite these jobs. Here, I am overwriting the SEMgrep SAST job to only run if we find .rs files. This is totally optional. I am also overriding cargo generate SBOM, adding artifacts and reports used to populate various areas of GitLab with the detected vulnerabilities. The GitLab cargo dependency scanning and SEMgrep SAS job will now run within each new pipeline. Then when a merge request is created that introduces vulnerabilities, we can see the licenses detected by license compliance as well as the vulnerabilities detected by our security scanners. These scanners can be used alongside GitLab security policies in order to prevent insecure code or incompatible licenses from making it into your production level branch. These vulnerabilities are sorted by scanner type and provide detailed information on the vulnerability and how it can be resolved. Just like every other vulnerability detected within a merge request, they are actionable, meaning you can either dismiss them or create an issue to further collaborate with other team members. If the MR is merged with vulnerabilities still present, these vulnerabilities will be added to the vulnerability report, which contains all the vulnerabilities detected within the default branch. The dependency list better known as Software Bill of Materials or SBOM will also be populated with the dependencies of the project as well as any vulnerabilities detected and licenses. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. To learn more about the features in GitLab 17.3 and how we support security scanning for Rust applications, see the links in the description and make sure to click on that subscribe button 